There better not be steroids in here. <laughs> what would you think about those uh, fuck you side of chants yesterday from the crowd? Funny, yeah. <laughs> I wonder, I mean, we know this isn't your favorite part of the game. How, how do you get yourself ready for it? Like, what's your mindset walking into this room, knowing you're going to have to do this, that, that you'd probably prefer not to? Uh, it's just, uh, it's what you guys want me to say, the same shit I've been saying all week already. It's kind of, kind of uh, I don't like to uh, see myself repetitively say the same shit. But at the same time, look at how many cameras are here, man. I mean, literally everybody in this room wants to talk to you. Do you find that... Like exciting at all or odd? I mean, literally everybody here wants to hear what you have to say. Yeah, it's cool. It's all good. In, in hindsight, are you glad you took a, like those years off? Because if you had to do this every few months, would that not eventually burn you out? Yeah, this is soul sucking. It takes your whole life out of you. That's what I was exhausted. But uh, that's the name of the game, right? It's cool. Not that we want you to, but are you going to get to a position where you can tell the UFC I should do less of this stuff? Are there any questions regarding this fight that you feel like people haven't asked you about? Are there any areas that you sort of still want to talk about that people haven't spoken to you about already? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just here so you won't get fined? No, I didn't even know I'd get fined. <laughs> That's crazy. No, it's all good. This is part of the game, right? It's just, um, I'm ready ready to uh, be done with all this, waiting to get, get to the point. Yeah. Have you seen the belt yet? Have the UFC given you a sneak? What, what are you expecting from from the belt? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you I have, did you have any input in the design? No, I don't care. Yeah. It should be... Uh, I hope it looks cool. <laughs> do you care about The Rock being there at all and wrapping it around your legs? The Rock's coming to put the put the, uh, on the winner, huh? That's pretty cool. That's a, great, that's a big deal, right? <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> are you a fan of The Rock? Uh, I'm a fan of The Rock, uh, 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 for sure. Does part of you feel like just Dana doesn't want to put a belt on you? It would be cool as fuck if Mike Tyson was here, because wasn't that the baddest motherfucker in the game? The baddest motherfucker on the planet or something like that? That would be cool too. Before you came along, who was the baddest motherfucker in the UFC? <laughs> Nick Diaz, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so Nate, this is on you, like this is you that will this into existence, but Dana has said that this is like a one-off thing, and you know, how do you feel about it? I mean, I'm sure you want to keep on having the BMF type. Right? Nah, this is forever. <laughs> do you feel like it's kind of funny that they trademarked the BMF thing after you made it up and it's all on you that they are now making money off what you invented? Funny. You get any love from the vegan <laughs> Yeah, the vegans get mad though because I'm not, I'm not a full vegan. So, uh, but but it's cool. I did, I'm all about uh, supporting the vegan community though, because everywhere we go, that vegan option that's my best bet. You know, if, uh, if someone asks like preference on a plan, I say vegan because you can get vegetarian stuff and have cheese and stuff all over it. Uh, but I eat eggs and I eat like uh, fish sometimes. So. But I love I love the I love the vegan restaurant and the vegan food and the vegan community for sure. I'm all about it. And um, like I said, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger is pretty much vegan too. And I told me what number that one is. Yeah. How much did that question piss you off? Oh, he like at him with his ass and thing. <laughs> that guy was sorry. <laughs> Are you the baddest motherfucker in the triathlon community as well? In the triathlon community? No, no, no. I'm like, uh, man, I'm hardly hanging in there in the triathlon community lately. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta step my game up next year for sure. But in the race world, it's a, it's another world. Those guys are, are no joke. But when I get in the in the, in the, uh, the season and I start working, good, I start getting up there, start placing, placing pretty good at, in a lot of the races. So. But that's a, that's another world that these guys can't keep up with for sure. Are you surprised more fighters don't do triathlon training? They're all starting now. Yes. This guy that I'm fighting is riding a bike now and swimming and, and Connor started riding a bike. Everybody's doing what what they were told to do, you know what I'm saying? Father. Did, did you see Conor McGregor says that he wants to fight the winner of this fight? Does that interest you at all? I don't know what's next, man. I'm going to do what I'm going to do and uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the future, you know. Uh, like, like they said, like I had before, when it starts to line up, whenever, 
I don't know what's next. I'm gonna try to make this fight if I if I happen the way it's supposed to happen and then uh, go from there. Are you you know when would be next? I mean like this was a quick turnaround for you. I mean you think you'd wanna fight quick again or do you wanna take some time? That's off? just what I said last time. I'm gonna I'll take the, I'll take forever off or I'll get back to it if everybody comes correct, you know. The only reason we've had problems in the past is because the only reason why why there's any problem in the past is because they you know, they're they're Better, better treat me like it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been in this game forever doing my thing, and regardless of, of, of the outcome, I'm coming back my next fight stronger and better anyway. So. Could you not fight again, like financially? Could you be like done and, and, and live I okay? I'll never have to fight again. I didn't have to fight a long time ago, but what am I going to do? I, you know, I got all kinds of stuff going on, but... but um, so do you still love the fighting part? I mean, I know you hate this part, but do you love, I mean, I know the fighting, you've always had kind of a love-hate relationship with it, but do you still enjoy getting in there in the competition, or do you hate even that? No, yeah, I don't, I don't like not fighting. Do <laughs> <laughs> you see yourself doing anything else aside from fighting? Like, what could you see yourself doing? Uh, I don't know. All kinds of stuff. But, but like I said, it's not, uh, I think the best thing for me is it's weird because it's, like, it's self-destructive fighting and it's self-destructive not fighting. So uh, kill or be killed, like uh, what I said before, it is um, can't live with it, can't live without it. I don't want to do this shit at all. But like, you know what I'm saying? Sitting back watching somebody else do it to not not come. It's like the game surprised? shows you basically. Yeah. Are you surprised more guys haven't followed your method? I mean, like, you called out Connor, you made this crazy money, you've done it again with Jorge. Are you surprised more fighters don't look at you and think, well, that's obviously the model I should copy? Yeah, I put, I put out the blueprint for money making the whole time, and these guys out there chasing a belt still, like, they want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got your. I pay attention to what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, when I was fighting every other month for so many years, or every couple months for so many years, I only, I only, uh, I only, I only focused and paid attention to how to be the best fighter in the world, you know, like train, 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 and uh, I never had a second to sit back and think about other stuff. So the second I took a year off or three years off or something, then everything started coming together, you know what I'm saying? And then my martial arts started coming together better because I, I uh, recovered and I wanted to be in it, you know, so everything everything kind of pieces itself together with time. I think that statement that you sent out last week, very few fighters can send out a statement like that and go public with that issue that you're having. What was the thought process? Why did you want to come out with it and kind of control the narrative the way that you did? This is warfare. For, for, for one, they call me, tell me all this shit. They're telling me all this you're on drugs shit, and I'm like, hold up, no, I'm not on drugs, so fix your tests, you know what I'm saying, so I got, I continue taking my, my supplements, which are whole food supplements, I only eat out the garden, you know what I'm saying, that's where only raw life, I mean, I've, 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 I've trained for fights, and uh, I went on, uh, they don't have them anymore, but I used to eat organic, vegan, uh, raw, raw food, it's like, everything is made raw, so you're just straight living on plants, and I went, when I was finding that 55, it was helping me make the weight, and uh, when I did that, uh, my weight, my weight was, was like going down, right? So I was like, so I'm like all the way, and I was at my all-time strongest. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I lived like that, like by that, by that code. Like we gotta, we gotta, you know, strong survive type of shit. Like I don't need no, 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 no change. And then when they do that, I'm like, you're fucking up my whole shit. What I believe in, and it's all, it's making me lose, lose sleep at night. So I'm like, you know what, this is this is uh this is war and this ain't fair. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sleeping, the UFC sleeping, Jorge Masvidal sleeping. I'm like, how about fuck all of you guys? Ain't no one sleeping. Woo woo woo. Yo fights off. Now no one can sleep and I was in bed smiling. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about? It? So I even things out a little bit and uh and, and it's what it's what's up, what's what's real. And now look at they, they flipped their shit, got it together, and there was nothing, nothing wrong in the first place. So why'd you guys try to fuck with me to, to begin with? If you hadn't sent that statement out, what do you think would have happened? Uh, I would have just not came. <laughs> what was their until they fixed it? What was their reaction like but when I'm, you put that statement out? Yeah, were they mad at you? They called me back and they're like, "We fixing it right now." <laughs> <laughs> fix it. Then. So Nathan, your video blog, you were seen smoking something. I'm assuming it was, yeah, what was in the, I mean, what were you smoking in your video blog? Where? 
Uh, earlier, I think it was this week or last week. I don't know. Something good. <laughs> I don't know. Something, something, something. And chronic. And you mentioned that. You mentioned that it gets a, a little bit of hate from the vegan community, but you're still like one of the few athletes out there in combat sports who very openly has a mainly vegan diet. Are you surprised that more fighters don't try that? Yeah, I think a lot of fighters are, 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 are vegan too. I think I'm probably just the biggest stage probably talking about, but I think there's a bunch of guys out there. Uh, I can't think of who right now off top, but I know Kron, Kron Gracie, he eats like me too. He eats the same type of thing. And, uh, and so I, I think I perform well, and uh, I'm still, like I said, even about my career, I'm still here. I'm still here after however many years. I've been in the UFC since I was 21, and I'm 34 now. And uh, I feel stronger, better than ever. And uh, I feel like I'm only getting better and stronger. And, and, and when you look at the tra travel the community, too, and, and the way that they train and compete, the better guys are are. Older. They're getting older, like, you know what I'm saying? I was 26 and the guy smoking, everybody was 30, 34, 38, you know? So, so with time and experience, you get better. And I feel like, like uh, doing the same, same thing here. I know how to recover. I know how to train active recovery. I know how to stay busy. I know how to stay busy. Um, I know how to stay busy even when I'm over work uh, and, and, and come back strong. So uh, I think it's the best way to... to uh, to, the best thing to do is to uh, uh, think about your whole craft and make sure that thing's working right. What did you think of Jorge Masvidal sort of showing support to you when this whole Usada situation happened? It almost seemed like Only because he, he knows and everybody knows. That's the, that's the fun that, that, that they were talking, you know. It's playing bullshit. So uh, I, 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 I expected and I would do the same for, for anybody. I'd be like... Even if they were on steroids, I'd be like, do the steroids and let's fight anyway. Have they all been on steroids most of the time anyway? You've always, you've, you've, you've always kind of said this, you know, the phrase that you're all on steroids. Is there anyone or some guys that you look at and think like, you know, those guys are not on steroids? Because you said you would do the same thing for some of the guys, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of guys not on steroids too, but most, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't put it past nobody, you know? I know a lot of them fucking... Everybody I'm, I'm training with is on the same type of type of thing I'm on, vegan, triathlon. Like I, we're all doing the same thing, and we all we all live the same mindset. Like do all the do all the juice you want. I'm still gonna be here when you when you're done. You know what I'm saying? Do you think this BMF title will become the title in the division? I know like Covington's fighting Usman in December, but do you believe the BMF title has a lot more popularity and people want to see that defended more than the actual title in the division? Um, yeah, the, 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 the belts and stuff ruined the fight game. The, 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 when weight division, I believe. That you need weight divisions and the titles and stuff, but it, it's like, uh, you know, George St. Pierre's a long time ago when we're doing that fight. Uh, he's a real entertaining fighter. Then he's like, I need to win and stay winning, so how do I do that? I got to I gotta grab on, I got to hold on, I got to run, I got I to gotta point. And that that's how it became the whole game. So it's like a loophole into being the best fighter in the world, you know. And it's like you're you're gonna just you're gonna loophole me out of it because I'm the best fighter in the world, and I'm training the best, and I'm fighting the best. Cause I have like the most uh, of the night bonuses for like and, and like fighting the night bonuses and stuff. I know they're acknowledging that. And they're like, this is the best guy in the world. Khabib, I don't think Khabib ever had no fight of the night. I don't remember any of the fights except for that they all were the same fight. And uh, so it's a loophole to being the champion. I'm like, no, I'm talking about the best fighters in the world are the best fighters in the world. No clock, no time, fight to, fight to the finish. Uh, warriors, you know, and uh, that's the fight I called for. And that's the fight that, that uh, fighter I think I am. And uh, you want a good fight, you're going to see the baddest motherfuckers fight. You're not going to see a, 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 some of these champions fight. And, so, and, and some of the champions, a lot of, a lot of, I've been saying that, I said a couple times uh, that everybody's whack and stuff like that, and I don't mean to disrespect everybody. A lot of the people are, are, are some whack, whack fighters out here. There's a lot of really good fighters, a lot of great fighters, and a lot of people doing a lot of really good things, but uh, I, I, you know, 
it's hard it's hard to be like think out like who's the best fighter and it's like well I have to sit down and think for a while you know what I'm saying because all I can think is me and my brother and then poor I imagine Kron's Gracie Kron Gracie's last fight look at that guy and he's only getting better too and um Besides that, you know, and I, I like warriors. I like warriors. I like I like real fights. And, and, and people forget when they go to when they go to uh, fight shows. They forget that, that they think they're going to see a fight like they're going to see with me and Madrid or, or any, any, like really good fight. They think they're going to go and see war. People who don't know this war, and then they come and then they see like. A, a wrestler holding down that, like the whole fight card, everybody's wrestling or running from each other, poking each other, trying to make points of And that's what people didn't really come there for. And they get there and they're like, end up just drinking and talking with all their friends at an event. But it's like, just like when you go to a baseball game or some shit, you don't watch a baseball game, you just go and sit there and hang out with your friends. I've only been like one baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So, so, but then when you get a real fight, all attention's on the fight, and I believe that's my fight every time. Every time. And then and there's fights I fought against wrestlers who've got to hold of me and held on, and I'm just like standing up and I'm fighting and I'm telling them, fuck you, and they're, they're doing their thing, and then they're getting mad and I'm, and I'm throwing my hand up and like trying to get them to act, and then all of a sudden the fight's over, and then we got fight tonight, and I go home and watch the fight, and my whole fight I'm punching them in their faces and, and elbowing them and telling them and antagonizing the fight. And he held on to my, my waist the whole fight. If, if you watch what he did the whole fight, he's holding on to my waist. And now I look at him like, man, this motherfucker owes me $65,000. Because I just got a fight of the night. Because he didn't do any part of that. And then how can you just like go on to your next fight like, yeah, fight of the night. Like, this is what I did. It's like, you didn't do that. That's all me. So, mate, you mentioned Khabib, and you guys have some history together. Is that a fight that you're interested no, in? No, not interested in that fight mm -hmm. at all. I'm done with that. He, he's done. Is that because you feel like it would be a I already beat him. I already beat him. I already beat him. Who else would stand out candidates for BMF other than Jorge Masvidal? Is there anyone else? Uh, Right, right, then we're gonna have to see what happens. I don't know. I'm not gonna be. I'm not. Let's see. You guys tell me. Will you defend the title? Do you see this as a title that you'll keep defending if things work out? The BMF title. Will you defend it? I think this is. Uh, uh, I think that uh, this is just what it is. You know what I'm saying? The fight. The, the fight in general. This is the baddest fight you could get. I think that I'm. A, I'm gonna. Every fight I have is gonna be the BMF title. Every fight. Hey, do you have personal interest in the Connor trilogy? I mean, I think everybody wants to see that. Do you personally, like, business aside? I'm really, I you know, whatever is going to happen in the future is going to happen in the future. You know, I'm not, they, they, they play me like I was sitting there waiting for that fight forever, but I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I would have liked, I would have liked it immediately, but when it wasn't immediate, I'm like, well, I'm going to chase you around. It's like... You know what I'm saying? If, if he wanted some fun and then and we were gonna fight, then we, we were gonna fight. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna play out how it's gonna play out. I don't know. Do you think this eventually becomes the 165 pound title? <laughs> I started that too. Man. Yeah. <laughs> But you, we could have, we could have did that if the other guy would have just told him. But he was, you know what I'm saying? That was a move. That was a move that we we're making. But, but he's like, I'm a company. I'm gonna. Maybe you start making 165, pound maybe start making 165 pound fights. Maybe start making 165 pound challenges for people. Yeah, anyway, class. Anyway, class. Nate, how much of this fight is about your legacy going down in history as the baddest man in the It already is. I feel like, you know, yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a game changing fight. You know, I think it should be open weight in the UFC. If the fighters that uh, if the fighters wanted, I guess I don't know. That's not my call. I'm down, I'd be down for an open open weight. Is there anyone outside of your division that you've ever looked at? You know, maybe a bigger guy that's sort of been like a fantasy fight for you if they ever did an open weight division. Um, nah, not right, not right. No. This is it. So are you defending or is this for the inaugural Yeah, for sure. Come on. I told you from the beginning I'm defending this title. You know? So I believe that is, that's what it is. Defense. 
Shit. Stock in California, Nick does his army. What's up? I'm out. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.